Welcome to FootballGamePlan.com, where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook, bring you our NFL Week 9 preview between the Denver Broncos and the Cincinnati Bengals. Now let's look at some keys to victory for both teams, starting with the Broncos. When you look at the Broncos stopping the run versus the Cincinnati Bengals, it's all about gap discipline. The Bengals don't do anything fancy as far as the running game is concerned. They're going to run downhill. So those guys like Derek Wolf, Von Miller, just have to remain gap disciplined, and they should be able to stop the run. But in the back half of the defense, the secondary, I look for a guy like Tony Carter to have a huge day. He's going to have he's going to be called on a lot to make plays as they're going to go away from Champ Bailey. But let's go inside the lab and look at that offense and see how they can move the ball versus the Bengals. Peyton Manning is the type of quarterback that loves matchups, and the matchup that he's going to try to exploit this game versus the Cincinnati Bengals will be strong safety Taylor Mays. And here's how he can he can identify and isolate Taylor Mays in pass coverage and effectively get the football to the target wide receiver. You see right here we have the tight end. Normally that draws the strong the strong safety. So what he can do if he wants to further isolate him, he could. Instantly at the line of scrimmage, take this matchup and send the, the back out in the, in the flat to threaten his linebacker right here to follow. Or he could motion him out, flank him out, thus walking out the strong safety. Now he can also take advantage of the individual matchups. That's why you see Peyton Manning do a lot of the checks at the line of scrimmage. He's finding the right matchup and calling the right plays to identify and isolate the matchup that he wants. Over here, let's say you want to keep it tight on the backside, which again may draw the strong safety. Let's say this is the matchup he wants, and he doesn't know if this backer is manned up on this tight end or if this backer is just going to drift into the zone to cover hook the curl area. So what he will do is put this guy in motion just to see the coverage, bring him back in motion. If he finds something that he likes, he'll isolate him. Or if this could be another tight end, bring him back in motion, wide him out here. Thus, again, walking this strong safety out, checking to a different play, and calling the effective play to get the football to this guy on Taylor Mays. So I think that's going to be the matchup this week. For the Cincinnati, for against the Cincinnati Bengals, Peyton Man is going to find where Taylor Mays is on defense, find the right matchup, isolate him, and effectively complete a pass going his way. Now let's move over to the Bengals in this matchup. They're still struggling trying to run the football with some consistency, and I think if they go to three and four wide receiver sets, they will be able to run the football. They have the personnel to do so. You got guys like A.J. Green, Armand Benz, Brandon Tate, Antrell Hawkins. You can go three and four wide receiver sets and still be able to run out that single back formation, and that's how they can move the football against the Broncos. You can also utilize a short passing game to effectiveness. But let's go inside the lab and look at that Bengals defense and see how they can stop the running game of the Broncos. The Broncos are more balanced offensively than people would like to believe, so the Cincinnati Bengals will have to stop the run at some point in time in this ball game. And I love their linebackers, Ray Maluga. You also look at Vontez Burfecht, Manny Lawson. Those guys can really stop the run. And I think against the Denver Broncos, utilizing the pinch technique in obvious run situations allows those linebackers free reign and flow to the football. And when we talk about the pinch technique, we're talking about the defensive line. Everyone is attacking their nearest inside gap. Why is going to condense that offensive line, force them to block down, and allowing the linebackers to cover their gap responsibilities. The linebackers are NFL linebackers, and they should be able to fill their gaps, thus stonewalling the running game at the line of scrimmage. If you know you're, going, you're in an obvious running situation, pinching inside allows you the best opportunity to stop the run if you trust your linebackers. And I do believe Mike Zimmer and company really has a lot of faith in those three linebackers they have backing up this outstanding defensive line for Cincinnati. I look at the pass protection for the Broncos as an X factor. The Bengals defensive line has some long and athletic guys that can't get in the passing lanes of Peyton Manning. And for the Bengals, the linebacking core, protecting the underneath passing game is going to be vital and also being active in a running game is what I'm going to be looking for this week from Cincinnati. Let's go to the personnel breakdown in this ball game, and really not a lot separates these teams. It's all about consistency. The Broncos look like they're hitting their stride. The Bengals look like they're sputtering offensively. Something has to give, but this should be an even matchup top to bottom.
I like Denver in this ball game. I like the way the offense is playing with some balance. They're moving the football with the run. They're also taking timely shots downfield. And I think on defense, you like the play of Tony Carter stepping up, and he's going to do a solid job opposite of A.J. Green. So I think the Broncos win this game on the road. And I want to give a huge shout-out to Bengal Fan Forums and Bronco Fan Forums for always showing football game plan support.